So then gang, we're getting there, this is looking pretty good, but now I'd like to maybe add a few hover effects to different elements on this web page. So to start with, we could add hover effects to these so that when we hover over them, maybe the background gets filled in with this red colour, the text turns white, maybe that. And these things over here, maybe change the drop shadow on those to something a bit bigger. And we can play around with shadow on this maybe when we hover over it. And also when we hover over this, maybe I just want to change the text to a deeper shade of grey. So let's start with this and let's have a look how we apply hover effects to different elements. So that title over here, Food Ninja, that is this anchor tag right here. So let's give this a class attribute first of all. Now, how do we add a hover effect? Well, it's similar to the responsive classes that we have right here. So right here, we're saying that only for medium screens apply this. Well, if we want to add a hover effect, we can say, well, only for hover effects apply a class. So in our case, we want to change the font. So I'm going to say text gray 700, which is a bit deeper than the default of 600 we apply to the body. So let me save that and preview. And now we can see it goes a bit deeper when we hover over it. Awesome. So let's do the same kind of thing for the other items. So I want to scroll down here to where we have the buttons. It's these two right here. So the first thing I'd like to do is give them a background. So let's again say hover colon and then BG hyphen and it's primary, the red color that we want. And we need to do the same thing to this button down here. And if we save that and preview, yep, okay, we get a background color, but now the text is blended in with that, so we can't see it. So we also need to turn the text white when we hover as well. So if we want to do two hover effects, we just need to do this twice. So again, over here, we can say hover and then text hyphen white. And then down here, we'll do the same thing. So let me grab that and paste it over here save it and if we preview now the text is white awesome so that's pretty simple right okay so these cards right here let's add a hover effect to those now currently they have a shadow applied to them and we can see that if we go to the card class over here it has a shadow of medium let's increase that shadow when we hover over them so over here where the cards are these things right here I'm just going to alt click on all of the cards so I can do them all at once like so and we're going to say hover and it's going to be shadow this time large so save it and preview and now when we hover over these cards the shadow just gets a little bit bigger it looks like it's popping out of the page a little bit awesome and finally let's add maybe an inset shadow to this so let's go down to that bottom one and again, we need the hover keyword, then a colon, then whatever class we want to apply to it. Now to add an inner shadow, we just say shadow hyphen inner, like so. Press save, and this is gonna be a really subtle effect. So I'm gonna zoom in so we can see this as we hover over it. As you hover over it, you can see a little shadow right here at the top, and it's just a nice subtle effect, okay? So there we go. Dead simple, that's how we add hover effects in Tailwind. We just use this hover class right here, colon, and then whatever class we want to apply on the hover state.